Blockbuster. I'm going to Channel 8 station. I'm going to uh, interview, record. at McDonald's. <laughs> All the way around. We got the kids to Lincoln. The green building. Wow. Look at us. Wow. We're now walking to McDonald's. I love the green building. Yeah, it's the first time I've come to McDonald's. Look, look. It's a great-ass station. You got a bunch of people. They're in the city. I'm rich. Oh, you broke. $4. $4. I'm rich. Yeah, I got a credit card. <laughs> now the next thing they're going to do is they're going to do a promo. They're going to shoot some footage for a promotional, which is like a little commercial for the uh, Daybreak show that comes on tomorrow morning at 4.30. The studio here has no control room. This is basically just a big studio. Uh, we are linked via fiber optic to the actual big studio downtown, the control. First night we were doing the, our news, we had a crowd of people up here up against the window. And just as the 10 o'clock news went on here, you heard this, somebody going, Gloria, I love you. <laughs> and these aren't soundproof. So everybody who was watching the 10 o'clock news that night got to hear somebody who had a little bit too much to drink <laughs> expressing their love for Gloria Combo. We have five HD cameras here in the studio. There are three of them on the pedestals. We have one on the jib right here, and then there's a, you can kind of see it right back over here, there's a handheld. Back over here. What the camera sees is me up against the green background, and then through the switcher downtown, we take out in the picture everything that's green. Anything that's green, if I had on green clothes, they would take my clothes off. But we take anything that's this shade of green, gets taken out of the picture, and then electronically, the weather maps are put back in. Mm -hmm. So that's how the green screen works. It's the main news desk. The one at Young Street is a little bigger than this. This is primarily a two person desk. It's really pretty trashy behind it, but <laughs> we don't ever show you a close up of that, so at least we hope we don't ever show you a close up of that. They have uh, computer monitors embedded in the desk so that they can, they can be exchanging emails to you know, people back at the station or they can be shopping online and going to J. Jill or something like that. We have access to all the TxDOT cameras. There are like 500 uh, Texas Department of Transportation cameras that keep track of all the uh, uh, freeways and highways around Dallas and Fort Worth. And we just have a list of them and the person doing the traffic goes through the list and clicks the cameras that they want to see, put them in order, and they play that back on the air. Dana Delaney's new show, Bonnie Group, also helped. It was the second most watched series debut of the season after Hawaii Five Up. It's in the lower 80s in most areas today. Plenty of sunshine out there for you, but we do have plenty of flies. You're welcome to wear for you. It's the early evening hours. Can't wait for your words of wisdom today. See you in the morning. Tomorrow morning on News 8, we're going to show you. Tomorrow morning on News 8, who says you can't take your family to a baseball game and not break the bank? We'll show you just how you can do that. <laughs> Tomorrow morning on News 8, who says you can't take the family to the baseball game and not break the bank? We'll show you how it's done in our Insider Savings segment at 645. Tomorrow morning on News 8, who says you can't take your family to a baseball game and not break the bank? We'll show you how to do just that in our Insider Savings segment at 645. You add a word just for more face time. You did not. Yes, you did. I forgot. I forgot the word. That's she does that to me words. every day. No, she does it to me every day. <laughs> <laughs> so it leaves me like three seconds to say what I have to say. We are doing the victory portion and then also going to experience the Young Street portion of the because here you, you see where the final product actually happens. Back at Young Street, 
you'll see where the news is being developed and written and edited and voiced. And tips for kids on setting up that summertime lemonade stand. Join us for News 8 Daybreak at 4.30. That's a little long. Yeah, a little faster. Shout out to today, the RTV class from Lincoln High School. Hi guys, thanks for being here on Midday Today. Well, we're going to start with you. And uh, so how long have you been working at WFA? At FAA for 13 years now. 13 years. Been, yeah. Good, good, good times up here? Uh, good times, bad times. Uh, but no, no, it's all good. It's all good. So yeah. what if, if you had to pick a favorite moment? A favorite moment at FAA? Oh, man, I don't know if I'd have a favorite one. Probably when I started. Uh, started, yeah. Uh, yeah, my first day here. And this is a, Dallas is a town I always wanted to, to work in when I started out. So uh, mm -hmm. being able to come here and start working. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So what exactly do you do? Uh, I am the morning meteorologist here, so mm -hmm. uh, my day starts very early. I usually get to the station here about 3.30, 3.45 in the morning mm -hmm. um, and start putting together the, uh, the forecast. The show goes on at 4.30. Uh, mm -hmm. We're on from 4.30 till 7, so day starts early. You say you come up here at around 3 or 4? 3.30, 4. Okay. Uh, I usually get in about that time. So it's kind of long days for you? Very long days. Yeah. It starts real early. I mean, I get up at 2.30, mm -hmm. you know, every morning. So right. it's not a 9 to 5 business. Anybody who does this, just ask the floor crew. They're here about 4 o'clock every morning as well. Right. So you get up and then what, what exactly do you do when you come up here? You just walk in and like makeup, right? <laughs> no, no, I mean, I, I put together my own forecast and everything. So I start going over the weather information, the satellite radar data, surface uh, charts, and the computer model. So I have to put together all of that before I go on. And I usually get dressed about 10, 15 minutes before, before oh, wow. showtime. Yeah. That's cool. So if you had some, some advice to give to us, who wanted to pursue a career in this field, what, mm -hmm. would, you, what would you give? Um, like I said before, don't think it's going to be a nine to five mm -hmm. uh, gig because it's not. We have some very, very early hours. As you know, all of us, we're here about four o'clock, so you're not going to have that perfect right. uh, job where you can come in at nine o'clock and get off at five. So that's right. one thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's something that we all enjoy doing. So it's not, um, it's not as glamorous as, as most people think it is, mm -hmm. uh, at least for us being in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. So you have to be prepared for that too. Um, and be prepared to start at the bottom and work your way up. Uh, and everybody wants to start, you know, at the top. And I don't think anybody here would tell you that, that happened that way for them. You know, maybe some folks, you know, they luck into that. But for the most part, you have to start uh, at the bottom and, and work your way up and, and be prepared to, to work hard and, and, and do that. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Uh, simple, all right. Some more questions. All right. Okay. Anybody else ask questions? I have a question. Ask questions now. I'm sorry. I'm that's not okay. a student. But that's all right. <laughs> When you say at the bottom, what do, what do you mean? Um, and I mean, for us now, you know, for me, starting in a small market, and I started in production. I started behind the camera. So I was a cameraman. I was a production assistant. You know, I did all those things while all the while, you know, I know I wanted, I knew I wanted to be in front of the camera, but I had to start somewhere. So mm -hmm. to get my foot in the door, I had to start behind the scenes. I worked as a weather producer uh, at my first station back in Kentucky and just kind of work my way up. So, you know, you're not going to start as, I mean, we have kids come in and interns who think, oh, I want to be an anchor. And they're mm -hmm. going to be an anchor, you know, in Dallas, right out of college. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> that doesn't happen that way. Maybe for some, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, and the way the business is going, it's happening more than, than it should. But um, that that's what I mean by starting mm -hmm. at the bottom and working your way up. So, Any other questions? That? Speak now. When you leave here, it's gonna to be too late. Yeah, so you'll think about it later. <laughs> don't don't ask don't ask your teachers here. Ask <laughs> oh, I see how, and they're gonna be like so chatty on the way back over to yes, the other yes. I See, I know how that works. Could you also tell them the importance of you know being informed about reading, uh, staying in school, getting a degree? Sure. Sure. You know, I'm going to touch on a little bit of what Greg said. A lot of people get into this business thinking because you see us on TV, it's glamorous and beautiful, and they're going to make a ton of money. Well, one of the other things that um, I want to mention is when Greg says he started at the bottom, which is where I started as well, you don't make any money. People at McDonald's made more money than I did. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you weed people out. The good ones stick it through because you know that the higher you will go up in market size, the more money you're going to make. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as keeping current on current events, that's huge. I mean, you're journalists, okay? And when you come into this field, you need to keep in mind, guys, you're not just going to come in here and read a television prompter. All right. 
you have you are going to be I write every single day I write 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 so if you don't like to write don't get into this business mm -hmm. okay um, on top of that you need to make sure that you read any thing you can get your hands on last night I was dog tired but I hadn't read the paper in a couple of days, and I thought, shame on me. Mm -hmm. So I got out the Dallas Morning News, and I read it from beginning to end. Why? Because I need to be informed of what's going on. If I want to inform viewers, I can't rely on my producers to do it all for me. Mm -hmm. They're not perfect. They're going to miss some things, and that's where I come in and can give them additional information that I've picked up. On top of that, I make contacts in the community. Mm -hmm. And contacts in the community give you story ideas, which you then create into stories. So don't expect anyone to hand anything to you. You work for everything you do in this business, and you work hard. And he says, when he says it's not a nine to five job, let me tell you, it's a 24 seven job. Because even when you're not at work, when he's out, he is Greg Fields, okay? And people are going to look to him as a role model. And so you need to conduct your work yourself in such a way. And you should do that anyway. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. you should do that now at school. Mm -hmm. uh, especially the, the juniors and stuff. You have the, the young ones, they, they look up to y'all. Y'all might not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do. And they look at how you, you know, interact with the teachers. They look at the grades you make. I mean, and, and they might not ever tell you, but some of them want to be like you. So st you can start doing that now. Mm -hmm. uh, and you should always want to be that example uh, for, other, for other youngsters to, to come, come behind and, and follow. So, so keep that in mind. And last but not least, and this is something that we should do, I believe, in our everyday lives, in this business more than anything, I feel that I have been successful because I have truly been able to put myself in other people's shoes. So when you walk up to someone's house who's just had a family, murder, a family member murdered, you stop to think, how would I want that reporter to approach my family if that happened to a member of my family? Mm. So always remember to put yourself in other people's shoes and that's gonna make a big difference in your lives and in the lives of others. No, I'm from Kentucky, grew up in Kentucky. And had to move around a lot too, so I don't know you know, what you guys' plans are once you get out of college, um, but I started in Kentucky. I worked in Tyler, Texas for a little while. I was in Florida, I was in Kansas City before I came here. So you know, be prepared to, to relocate to maybe, mm. uh, depending on what you know, exactly you wanna do. All right. I started in Abilene, then Tyler, then Albuquerque, and finally got back. Uh, to Dallas, which is, has always been my dream to work here at WFA since I grew up watching the station. She used to watch me when she was young. I know. <laughs> <laughs> which is bad. It makes me feel real old. Bye, guys. Did you learn anything? Hello. Record it. She said she learned something. Record it. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, Josie was the first time they could find out. Oh, about the um, uh, promo key wow. Huh? The promo key wow. Uh, how he said that the man looks at the TV to see where he's going, and I always wonder how he did. Welcome to Channel 8. Is this what you thought it would look like? It's kind of like a cruise ship. This is the Lido deck. This is how it feels sometimes. It all kind of looks the same. You get lost in here. Uh, all right, I'm going to go get my deck. <laughs> uh, primarily, we use uh, like the Adobe products, uh, like Photoshop, After Effects. Uh, we also use Apple's Final Cut Pro. So mm -hmm. these are kind of the products that we use most often. We also use uh, BizRT for like our CG on-air playback. So primarily we do, I'd say about 80 to 90 percent of our stuff through Photoshop and After Effects. This is a playback monitor and middle screen is just to, uh, typically we well, we have our station on, um, you know, we're monitoring during the newscasts, mm -hmm. so whenever our newscasts are on, we can see our graphics and how they're playing back and catch any errors um, or any kind of technical difficulties that we might be having. So that's typically why we have the three monitors. So the actual graphic content that we produce be anything from like uh, over the shoulder graphics, designing new weather graphics, um, anything topically that the news producers request for reporter packages, um, as well as special shows. Right now we're working on the new, a new sports look. Um, that we've launched, so we're just kind of filling in and um, updating a lot of their graphics and making sure that our libraries are you know, up to date. On the other side of this department is the promotions department, so we work kind of hand in hand, so whenever there's a new commercial or new promotion, 
will actually develop the uh, the creative look and feel for those commercials as well. This is you got to have pictures and sound, right? So here's the pictures and there's the sound. This is a layering machine where it will put uh, layers over layers over layers if we need it. But it's called a video switcher. So whatever camera I need, here's camera 13 over at our Victory Park. You were just over there, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm glad you got to go over there. And then if I need to put a person's name in there, or a, a super, as we call it, then it just layers it on electronically. When you see the chroma key, um, you were there saying that, well, the camera shows us the picture with the green. Mm -hmm. And of course, this machine here says, I want to take all the green out and then put whatever you want me to have in there. And then I can play with it and just see how much lip and bang, how much of the picture that I can use. The producer, it, as I need to say, it's kind of like an orchestra. The producer is the composer. They write the sheet music. They don't execute it, they just write the music. And then they hand it off to the director who is the conductor. So then the director looks at it and says, okay, here's how I'm keeping everybody on tempo. I'm telling the assistant director what to do, I'm telling the audio operator what to do, people back in graphics, the camera operators, and we bring it all together, hopefully, to make sweet music, so. Um, and right now, our lead story is about the measles outbreak in Texas. So we have our medical reporter out there. That's the hot story right now. It's uh, 2.30, in the next hour and a half, a fire can break out or there could be a chase and that'll be the breaking news, so then that would take second priority and they'll throw something else at the top of the rundown.